Hey, I'm Barry Unger. I'm the volunteer coordinator for the Buckeye Trail Association and a member of the Little Cities of the Forest chapter of the Buckeye Trail. We're out here this weekend doing a uh, survival scenario and thought we'd just kind of take a second and go over some of the stuff that we brought. Um, survival kit really is something that's uh, personal. You can decide what to bring, what not to bring. Uh, I usually, every time I go on a hike that's going to be over five miles, or any time I go on a uh, mountain biking trip, I pretty much will pack the same thing. So this is my little yellow bag. Uh, this mainly contains first aid stuff, um, but for this trip, I packed everything else in here as well. So start off with this cool little Altoids tin my buddy gave me for my birthday uh, this past year, and I modified it a little bit just to kind of suit my needs a little better, um, but I'm not going to ravel everything, but you can see it's a basic Altoids tin, and it's got a lot of string wrapped around it with some rubber bands. On the flip side of it is a lighter. On the inside, we've got some waterproof matches. We've got a fishing hook, um, some fishing line, uh, some folded up tin foil, and uh, some um, kind of powder aspirins and things like that. So this is a, a good little thing to have. Um, this, again, has a lot more first aid stuff in it. We've got moleskin and band-aids, um, quick clean things, uh, sunscreen, random stuff like that. Uh, we've also got these nifty little 99 cent, or I think they're $3 now, but these little kind of gas station emergency blankets. These things work phenomenally well um, in a uh, tight situation. Uh, they will keep you warm and, and sheltered. Uh, Basically, we've got you know a little ace bandage and some water purification tablets. Now, on this specific trip, we did bring a water filter with us uh, just to be on the safe side because it is more of a scenario. We don't want to risk uh, getting hurt if we don't have to. Um, lastly, uh, my light my fire knife, which I absolutely love. It's a nice sharp blade. Uh, it's a nice sturdy knife. It's got a drain hole so it gets wet, and we've got a little. Uh, fire striker and that so we'll use this to kind of get our fires going so that is the basic kit that's what we're living off of this weekend uh, besides that we've brought some homemade beef jerky and um, a couple protein bars a map of the area that we're at on the Buckeye Trail the new Straitsville section and that's it so everything else we're going to be hopefully fishing and uh, frogging and whatever we can do to get our food so uh, that's just a basic rundown of a uh, kit that I like to bring out with me in the field and uh, what we're doing this weekend. So we'll keep checking back so you can kind of see how it goes. All right, Hollywood, what you looking for? A flat spot. <laughs> Somewhere flat. Somewhere to lay down. Uh, kind of clear a little space here. I think I'm going to try and make, it looks like, a little bit of flat where deer might have been walking through. Make that kind of my my body will lay. I mean, because there's not much flat terrain. I think I'll lay it across this direction, clear these briars out, use this tree as some sort of support for shelter. Cool. And that's the start of it, at least. Good. Got my little pocket tool. Try and get some of these briars out of the way. Nice. I think I'm going to go right here. Essentially same thing, I got a decent V in this tree to work with. I'm going to have to clear out a lot of this stuff, but it's flat enough, I think right here, that I should be able to lay fairly well. So, we'll see, we'll check back. Okay, Rex is, uh, is a bit more fancier and I think is going to be a lot more s s strong if we get some weather. <laughs> I just tried to use what I had around small trees, tie the corners off to, just bunched up some of the plastic and kind of pulled through and looped around to tie with. Used a string for my main beam and have a layer of plastic underneath me. On the uphill side, if any water were to come down, hopefully, rather than coming under the edge and soaking me, I'll be up on top of that and it should not get me nearly as wet at least. <laughs> cool beans. All right. Well, it's getting dark, so uh, maybe we'll build a fire ring.
Good morning. Uh, all right, so uh, we made a little water bag here um, out of some of the plastic that we brought for our shelters. Um, kind of tied it at my shelter this morning, made it a little tighter. So we went around and wrapped these around some plants because plants will sweat throughout the day, so we probably won't get a lot of water out of it, but we'll get you know a good couple sips hopefully. I chose um, spice bush uh, for a couple different reasons. Um, number one, it is really leafy here, so we can get a good bunch of leaves up in the plastic. Um, the second reason is I know that this plant is non-toxic, so I don't have to worry about any kind of weird secretions. Um, and the third reason is that uh, spice bush is tasty, so maybe we'll get like a little kind of lemonade water out of it. Um, and you can see it's already starting to sweat right now. Kind of did it so we can get a little pool down here at the bottom, so as the condensation builds up, it'll come down here. And like I said, hopefully uh, by the end of the day, we'll have a nice little at least gulp of water out of here, um, which could be fairly important for you if you were in a situation that uh, you didn't have any. So let's see uh, at the end of the day how that comes out. What you doing there, Rex? Trying to get a setup ready for fishing. Got some line tied on. I had three hooks with 18 inch leaders. Uh, just poked through a piece of cardboard. Leaders wrapped around the cardboard just to kind of keep everything organized and untangled and unknotted. Put these two back away. Just use a piece of tape to hold everything in place. tie this up and then on my walk across the pond dam found this guy dragonfly it was down in the water it looks like he's probably on his way out anyways cool so we try to use that for bait first off Let's go over to the far side where the wind is going to blow the lure out into the water a little farther see if we can't get anything to hit awesome what are you tying onto there this huh yeah this is a frog gig. Two points. Each one has a notch built in to try and catch once it punctures through. Cut down a hickory about nine feet so I could get out into the water pretty far with it. And hopefully after dark, we'll see if we can't come down and gig a frog or two. Hey guys, it's Barry again. Uh, we're out checking our water bags right now that we tied around the spice bush. Uh, there actually is some condensation building up here. We're not getting a whole lot. Um, and actually the more I look at it, there's quite a bit. Um, you know, we feel like this may be a really good method for uh, springtime when plants are uh, doing more. I don't think, I think if you had enough of these, you could probably uh, get something out of it that could help you, but at this point, uh, this has been going since probably 7 a.m. and it's probably about maybe 2 right now, maybe 3. Uh, so by the end of the day, probably not going to have enough to really uh, do much for you, at least not with one or two of these. So uh, we'll end up taking these down in a little bit, but I just want to check in and show you. And if you, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there definitely are some droplets uh, forming in here. So maybe next time we'll have a little more patience and leave them up for a couple days, but uh, that's what we got. <laughs>